Louis, you look so handsome in your bow tie. I love it. What do you guys think? Hi everyone and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm decorating three shell wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. They were so much fun to make and they all turned out beautiful in their own way. Without further ado, let's get started. This shell wreath is going to be super quick and absolutely stunning. We are going to use some of these. I bought these during fall at the Dollar Tree. Here is the ribbon that I'm going to use. And as you can see, none of it has any coral printed on it. But because this wreath form itself already tells you this is a coastal wreath, this is a shell wreath, we can get away with using very simple, very clean ribbon to make a beautiful wreath. For the fabric, I wanted something blue. Denim would look really, really good with it, but I did have a piece of fabric that was also blue and I thought it would work really well. The last thing we're going to need is some cardboard so we can trace the shell and cut it out. The nice thing about this shell wreath is that it's flat and you can give it a nice base with the cardboard. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's going to be nice and sturdy. So let me just trace it. And using an X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut it out. Leo's very confused why I'm not letting him. This cat does not give up. Next, I'm making sure that the outline of my wreath form is really, really spot on. And then it's time to start hot gluing my fabric. And I'm really going to make sure that it's nice and taut. And just start hot gluing the fabric to the actual cardboard. I'm going to do the opposite side. Here, I'm going to do the center little V and then at the bottom. And then you wanna do all the dips. Now I'm just going to cut off all the excess and hot glue the edges in place. Now that our cardboard is covered, it's time to bring in the actual wreath form. And I know looking at it, you're like, um, how are you going to hot glue this? Well, the way I'm going to hot glue this is I'm going to be using my decor and wherever I can, I'm going to hot glue behind my decor, behind my big bow and behind this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue it exactly where I know that I'm going to have stuff. And this area right here is going to get covered no matter what. So what I'm going to do is making sure that my wreath form is in place. And then I'm going to hot glue the actual wreath form in place. And then I'm going to hot glue again later. This is just so it stays in place. I'm trying to place this where it's not going to affect the integrity of the actual wreath form. I want to make sure that you can still see that it's a shell wreath. I want this part to be shown for sure. And I think I like that. But what I'm really not liking is this ugly greenery. First things first, let's take these off the stems. The ones with the leaves, we are going to get rid of the leaves. The ones with this grass stuff, I'm going to leave. To bring it all together, I'm using a zip tie, cut off the excess. To make the bow, I am going to be using a bow maker, starting with the white ribbon, which is two and a half inches. It's also the whitest ribbon I'm going to be using. So I'm going to have it in the back and I'm going to make five inch loop. And since this is a double sided ribbon, it doesn't matter. I'm just making my loops, measuring off six inches on this side. I'm going to cut it off and send it to the back. Next, I'm grabbing the blue ribbon it's double-sided also so I'm just going to bring it in the middle and when I layer mine as I'm going up I like to make them smaller just a little bit so if this is five inches I'm going to make this one four and three quarters just because when it comes up and you're actually done with your bow it's going to matter another six inches cut that off I have a roll of leftover mesh ribbon. I'm just going to throw in a little bit like this. I'm not even making a bow. And now I'm going to do the yellow, measuring my tail. And then with this ribbon, since I did four and three quarters, I'm going to do four and a half inch loops. And with this ribbon, it's not one-sided. It has to be twisted. 
and another four and a half inches. All I did in this bow is I made two loop bows and stacked them. That's it. And then threw a little bit of mesh ribbon for kicks and giggles here and there. Now I'm just going to squeeze everything in the middle. Grab a zip tie. Before locking the zip tie in really tightly, I'm going to go and make sure that my loops are all the same size. Now I'm going to start opening up my bow and I have a loop right here, a tail right here, a loop right here and a tail right here. This is how I'm going to even out my bow. Next, I'm going to cut all the tails. They are going to be just cut on a little angle. No dovetails today. I didn't feel like dovetails for some reason. So they're all going to get cut on slant. Now I'm just going to decide how I want my bow to be. And we are ready to hot glue it in place. Big dollop of hot glue. Oh, how stunning. I absolutely love how this wreath came out on the back. You can definitely cover it if you're gifting it or selling it, or you can just put two little dots on there and put a little jute cord and hang it that way. And that is it for this gorgeous, gorgeous shell wreath. For this shell wreath, I'm going to be using 3 16th of an inch of ribbon. This one is off-ray, but whatever you have on hand that's kind of on the smaller end would work. Then I have some white florals, a sheet of burlap, and then some sort of a centerpiece to put in the middle of the flowers. You can use maybe one of these sand dollars from the Dollar Tree or a little star. And I also had a shell on hand that would look really, really pretty with it. And and it's going to cover that hole. And you're also going to need a big piece of cardboard enough to cut out the shell. Since my centerpiece is going to need time to dry, I'm going to start with that in a little dish. I just put a little bit of water, not for Leo. Oh, this cat, I'm telling you. And then I'm going to grab some brown paint and dip it in the water. That's going to be our stain. If you have stain, that's fine. Otherwise, just use whatever brown paint you have on hand. Now it's time to cut the shell out and I'm just going to line it up against the edge and then outline. Using an X-Acto knife, I'm just going to cut this out. Now let's bring the base together. I have my burlap and it's doubled. As you can see, it's two pieces together. If you are using a piece of cardboard that's really thick and heavy, you really can save your wreath form for another project. But I am going to use it because I do want to make sure that it's nice and stable. And all I'm going to do is just hot glue here and there just to attach it to our actual cardboard. And another reason reason I'm using a cardboard is when I put my burlap on, I don't need anything in the back of it. It's the same color. Now I'm just holding it down where I have my hot glue so it settles in place. My shell is nice and stable. I'm bringing the burlap in. I know you see a big old wrinkle right here, but when I stretch it, it's going to go away. Nice thick layers of hot glue. Now that the bottom is attached, I'm cutting the top part. I'm going to give it a nice stretch and attach it here in the center. I made like a little V right here. Now I'm going to do the sides and then you can do the corners. The reason I'm doing this is to make sure that everything is nice and even. It's not crooked or anything like that, that we have enough burlap for everything. I'm giving it a stretch to make sure it stretches my wrinkle out. Now I'm just hot gluing everything else and we're going to be all done with the base. The back is nicely hot glued in place. And here's what it looks like from the front. Isn't it beautiful? And you actually can see the outline of the wreath form because I have it nice and tight. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the ribbon and I'm going to go along the edges right here. So I'm going to start with this one, a little bit of hot glue and hot glue the ribbon in place. Now I'm going to go down and then go up and I'm going to finish this off before I actually hot glue anything just to make sure that everything
everything is nice and straight since we know this is the middle and it's going right here this ribbon really should be over just a little bit pull on that and then have that in the middle now that i have it i want to make sure that it's nice and pretty and because i have it taut i'm going to hot glue it in place even though I know these are nice and secure, I'm still going to go ahead and put some hot glue right over. If you're selling or gifting this piece, definitely cover the back with some felt, fabric, or even more burlap. If not, find your center, add that a hot glue here, add that a hot glue here, and then just a piece of jute cord, a little bit more hot glue on top. Now we can bring in the florals. I have two of these picks with the little flowers, and then I have some spring flowers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bouquet like this with these elegant flowers being on top I really like this greenery and this greenery I do not like so just remove it next I'm going to bring in our centerpiece to see how wide we need the flowers to be I think that looks beautiful I'm going to grab a zip tie you can use a floral wire whatever you have on hand before I tighten my zip tie I'm going to make sure it's where I want them to be one more time cut that off now we're going to hot glue the shell in place and the way I do that is of course you want to hit any flat area and then I'm going to go on the edge and I'm going to go really heavy with my hot glue and the reason for that is I want the hot glue to just drip into place the shell is a little dome so gravity is going to do its thing and the hot glue will just melt down and secure it in place hot glue the greenery in place this is a press and hold situation. Now it's time to hot glue our sign on and we're going to press. While I'm doing that, I got a little home sign. I got this wooden sign from Michaels a long time ago. I used Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white that I get at Home Depot, but you can use any paint you have on hand. I'm going to put it right here. I just felt like it needed something, but you can put any sign you want. I just thought the white sign would look really, really pretty and something like this can definitely go in any room in your house or on the front door. This is on pretty securely and now I'm just going to add the home sign and I'm going to give it lots of hot glue because I want to make sure that it stays in place. Find my center about there and press and hold. And that's it, the shell wreath is all done. Here are the few supplies we're going to need for this shell wreath form and the most important one is some raffia. You can get this online at craft stores. They're not that expensive and they are very forgiving when you're hot gluing because they are thin. And because we have so much going on here and I want to outline this whole shell, I figured that this would be the best option. You can also use ribbon, but I'm going to use the raffia. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm using the pink one that is because this ribbon does have a little bit of pink in there and it's just going to give it a little pop this ribbon is two and a half inches I got this at craft outlet then I'm going to be using some of this ribbon because it just it's a beautiful beautiful combo and then I'm going to use some mesh ribbon and I think you're going to like the way I put this bow together a great trick to use raffia is to just grab a nice piece Cut it off and then do a piece at a time. Otherwise, you're just going to deal with twisting and twisting and twisting. The way I'm going to attach the raffia is work from inside out. First, I'm going to do these horizontal waves. Then I'm going to do these lines right here. And then I'm going to finish off by doing the outside. And I recommend doing the same thing because all the edges that you're going to have from the lines or from these waves, you're going to cover when you're going all the way around. To get started, I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to take care of this corner. And now I'm just going to start going around and around. From time to time, give it a little bit of hot glue. Very thin and my hot glue is on low, so I keep on going. The pink is going to look so 
cute. I'm done with my waves that are going horizontal and now I'm going to just start doing all of the lines. As you can see the inside of the shell is done and all I have left is just to go all the way around. To make the bow for the wreath I am going to use a pipe cleaner and I'm going to freehand the actual bow. I'm going to make a four loop bow. Measuring my tail I'm probably going to cut this a little shorter I'm simply making four loops and then I'm going to see how I like it. And you really don't need a bow maker because you're looking at these loops right here. You know, you're pretty much where you should be. Same thing on this side. Just flatten them out so you kind of can see where you're at. And then to find your center, you simply just fold them together and we know where our center is. I'm going to grab a clip, kind of hold it in place. And now I'm going to cut the tail. With this aqua ribbon, I'm going to use the mesh ribbon and I'm going to put it over it. Since I'm doing a simple loop bow with it, I'm going to find my center first so that I know exactly where we're at. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make loop number one, just like that. And then loop number two. This is a perfect size. Let's clamp it all together. And now we're ready to squeeze in the middle, but not too tight. Twist in the back. Oh, what perfection. And I'm going to twist and I'm going to twist it around our actual wreath form. Before I finish up with the bow, I want to take care of the loop to hang this wreath form. So what I'm going to do is we attach our bow right in the center. I'm going to go on both sides and I'm going to go underneath our wave. I'm tying a few knots on this side and then I'm going to go to the other side and I want to make sure that it doesn't go too high because I don't want this to show too much. That's why I'm using a pink that's close to my shell color. With the hot glue gun, I'm going to just hot glue this in place. The loops of this bow are going to keep this part hidden. Here, you can decide if you want to do little dovetails. In my case, I'm just going to do it on a little slant. Now I'm going to poof these out just a little bit. In the center, I'm going to use this coral little skeleton. So let's get the hot glue going and right in the center. When you see it in person, it just brings it together and it's a very, very elegant and beautiful wreath. Well, what did you guys think and which wreath was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to chat with you. If you are new to this channel and would like to see more wreath tutorials, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course hit that little bell button so you are notified every time a video comes out. If you are still in a creative mood, we have prepared two videos for you to watch right here and keep on getting inspired. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Mwah. Louis. Mwah. Right? Bye. Shit, your sweetheart. I know. I love you, too.